Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to my channel. I'm feeling very Kim Kardashian-like today. I told many of you guys that I can't part my hair in the middle, but um, I think one of my subscribers told me to part it when it's wet and let it dry, and it's actually working good. So this is the first time I actually parted my hair in the middle. And I wanted to do this look for you guys that I saw Kim Kardashian wear in one of her episodes, Keeping Up With Kardashians, but um, as I was recording, when I finished, did not realize I was I was not recording. So forgive me, forgive me, I will just have to do this another day. But I wanted to do a video for you all, and that is my updated skincare routine. Um, before I even begin as to what products I use, I just want to let you guys know what kind of skin um, type I have. My skin is um, oily combination skin. So it's oily on the T-zone and then more so dry everywhere else. Now on my last, and excuse the noise, I'm having like a little family get together thing so there's babies like running around but just excuse that. But um, in my old skincare routine video, I was using so much crap that really aggravated my skin. So I just completely stopped using it all and went back to what I was using before. So I simplified it to four things. And um, what might work for me may not work for you. So I'm just taking into consideration um, what my subscribers wanted and requested, which was an updated skincare routine. So um, I'm just gonna get right to it. Um, the first thing that I do, so if I have a full face on, um, I use my makeup wipes. Okay. These work wonders. I love it. Smells good. Good for your skin. And I use this to remove all of my makeup or whatever it can remove. After doing that, I wash my face with just this Dove soap. This has never failed me. I was using this when my skin was clear. Decided to stop using it, broke out like crazy. Tried using alternatives like Clean and Clear, Neutrogena, did not work. So I was like, why not work with what I used to use? And that was this. Now many say that using bar soaps or even body soaps is not good for your skin because the skin on your face is much thinner and fragile compared to the skin on your body. But um, this has never failed me. I love using this stuff. My skin is so clear, so soft every time I use this. So again, what might work for me not may not necessarily work for you guys. So just use it to your own discretion. Um, I love using this. I just lather it, I just rinse my face with warm water, and then after the, the wipes, and then I lather my face with this, and I exfoliate using one of these that I got from Sephora, it's about five bucks, and I use it once a day. So, especially at night time, um, this helps remove my makeup, and I'm so sorry I should have done this video when there was no kids, but um. Yeah, it's really noisy out there. So you can get this from Sephora, and um, it just has these little like bead things. Not bead things, but just these little, like, I don't know. I can't even explain it. But it's just these little things that kind of exfoliate my skin. So I do this to remove my makeup, and also it removes my dead um, skin cells. I was using the apricot scrub and I will never use that again because it just broke my skin out super bad. So this and this I use every single night and in the morning I just wash my face with warm water. That's it. And then um, before I go to sleep and in the morning after I wash my face I just use this. And I've been using this since I can remember. I've been using this for years. It's the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for all skin types, lightweight hydration for everyday use, and it's fragrance-free. And what I also love about this is non-comedogenic, which means it will not clog your pores. So I love this moisturizer. Um, I heard the cleanser was good, but um, I'm sticking to my Sensitive Skin Dove Soap and my little exfoliator thingy. 
I love this. So that's basically my skincare routine. I don't do much. I really simplified it to using things that really work for my skin and it's been working. Um, as far as my acne scars, they have reduced um, my skin. If you can see, it's not even as bad as it was before. I mean, you can still see like a little bit here and there. But other than that, and all I'm using is my um, Studio Moisture Tint from MAC and just my MSF, which is a sheer powder. And that's all I'm using for my face. And I, my skin has dramatically changed. Um, I wasn't born with acne. Um, prone skin but I was at a point where I would just break out and even my girl she would notice like wow pal you're really breaking out and it was surprising to them and to me because my skin isn't acne prone so I don't know what phase I was going through when I was just breaking out like crazy but um the things that I use now it has never been so good and of course, I can never forget this one, my Fix Plus. I use it before I do my makeup and after to set it. So I really love this stuff. If you do have any questions, just let me know. I hope that this was helpful to some of you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. And I promise I will be doing a tutorial on this look using my favorite, favorite, favorite pigment which is tan pigment they should just name that and it's from mac they should just change that pigment's name to kim kardashian because that pigment truly reminds me of kim kardashian and it's just this really pretty like color i used it on my lid today and these lashes are huh, kind of intense um my aunt gave them to me when she went to imats so, again, rambling on, I do hope you guys enjoy this video, and until my next one, I will talk to all of you guys soon. Bye!